What's going on my people and welcome back to Israx Movie Reviews and today we're going to be discussing Home Alone. Uh, this was Macaulay Culkin's uh, acting debut uh, when he was a really young child, about maybe 10 years old in this uh, film, but he plays an eight-year-old in the film. And uh, this was a movie I remember vividly. This is one of my first blockbuster movies that I've seen with my father and, and my family. And this movie, looking back at it now, brings a lot of uh, good vibes, you know? Uh, this was a blockbuster back then dealing with an eight-year-old child and Kevin McAllister, who was known all around the world as that problem child in Home Alone, um, who after a fight with his family wishes that he never sees them again. And to wake up and realize that nobody's home because everybody took off uh, to go on vacation to France. And... Um, it's crazy, you know, he believes and hopes that his answers were <laughs> were met, but um, it was all a mistake at the end of the day. And, you know, as soon as he starts to cope with that, um, he has to deal with a couple of burglars, burglars that eventually tried to uh, rob his house. And if you're around in 1990, I was only three years old, um, then you remember the tremendous success that Home Alone had in the theaters. Uh, uh, critics loved this movie. It was widely loved, uh, especially at the box office. This movie made a lot of money at the time. Uh, to say the film was a landmark would be an understatement um, because the film was a huge hit and, and gained plenty of notoriety uh, and gained a lot of fans all over uh, the world, especially over the years. Um, it's been 30 plus years now. Um, and I think it's safe to say that the film is not a new classic. It's always been a classic. It's one of those movies you have to throw on around this time, Christmas time, you know, to definitely uh, see it with the kids. Um, uh, while the film isn't perfect, it's certainly a lot of fun. Uh, and it, uh, to me, at least, it perfectly captures the manic spirit of Christmas time. Um, I, in my point of view, the, what makes the film work so well is that it's a perfect child fantasy, right? There's times where our children get mad at us. They go to the room, wake up the next day wishing there was nobody home and, oh, my father was this, my mother was this. And I'm sure many kids have wished that they were the boss, right? <laughs> uh, the keeper of the house and that the adults would just go away. Well, this film works perfectly for the net fantasy, right? Uh, but of course, there's the more touching moments thrown in for good measure. Um, what makes this film to me a classic is that there are battles between the kid, the burglars, um, and they would all become household names after this film, and it's easy to see why. You know, the what Kevin uh, puts these burglars through, it's insane, you know, it's pure hell. Um, but, uh, you know, Macaulay Culkin is absolutely the star in this movie. You know, although we have um, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci as the burglars who were legendary in these roles, but Macaulay Culkin is absolutely adorable as the brat kid who finds himself home alone um, and doing battle against his fears as well as these two bad guys, these two protagonists. And the violence in the film is in the same field as the, the Three Stooges, where it's not, it's violent, but it's it's very black comedy-ish, you know? Um, and it works perfectly well, especially in this uh, setting, this kind of movie. Um, but not only does the violence stand up and work so perfectly well, because it's sold by Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, who are terrific and, they easily steal this film as uh, Harry and Marv, the white bandits. <laughs> uh, the two of them have uh, perfect chemistry together and they really uh, make for a great uh, comedic team. Um, the supporting cast is very good with Alexa John Hurd, uh, Robert Blossom, uh, Catherine O'Hara, who plays a very sympathetic, uh, sympathetic mom. And John Candy is in this movie. He does a fine job. Um, another major plus is the score. You know, we don't speak 
When you think about Home Alone, you don't really speak about the score. The music in this film was well-rounded. It was charming. Um, the film contains some great laughs throughout. And I think after years and years of this being a world-renowned film, and, you know, we're able to call it a classic nowadays, but this was a near-perfect American family film for the holidays. And I recommend you go see it with yours. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you thought about the film. Uh, you should have definitely been seeing it by now. And if you have children, please, if you have young children, they have to check this movie out. They're going to laugh. You know, even though there's different renditions. You have one, two, you have three, four, but one and two to me are the standalones. So go ahead and go check them out. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Please subscribe. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace.